Hey everybody, how's it going? I don't care. So what we have here is a massive ROG custom built computer that weighs like 95 pounds. And it's in here because it is overheating. Now this thing has a i9-14900K. This has an i9-14900K and it is overheating for some reason. On a completely unrelated note, the customer also wants me to install this beautiful ROG 360 uh, RGB cooler with an emphasis on the G. So first things first, I want to see how hot it's actually getting. I'm just curious how long they've been, or how, I'm just curious how much it's Let's get started. Actually, before we do that, I'm gonna plug this new merch drop we just did on SalemTechSperts.com because the world deserves to know who your wife belongs to and you'd be supporting the channel directly, which helps me out a ton. Now back to the video. Flex those muscles. You like that shit? Oh, yeah. oh my god. Uh, I pulled a scrotum. This is what real men use. You know, when we built this place, I didn't consider a computer to be taller than the shelf. Or the wall. Or the wall. COVID. COVID. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's see. Uh... Oh. All right, we back. What program are you using? <sighs> <laughs> swear to God. Okay, this is with the case off. Dang. Holy shit, man. How is this? Listen, props to Noctua because I have no idea how this little fucker is even cooling on idle. That's impressive. Okay, so let's see how fast. <laughs> Get a good look at this. Click that start button. Lupito. Oh. Jesus. And this is going great. Oh, God. Shout out to 87, 90. Ooh, Jesus, 96. Okay. Abort. Uh, well, 12% throttling is not good. So, needless to say, this little guy is trying its best, but uh, it, it just can't hang with this uh, i9-14900K. So this is a big lesson for everybody that's building your own computer, build your first PC. You don't necessarily have to go water-cooled, but you probably should with a i9-14900K. Now, what I'm going to do is make sure that ASUS multi-core enhancement is off. Basically, ASUS is ignoring Intel's recommended settings in terms of wattage, and they're just, like, cranking up the wattage. So it's called... Oh, okay, so it's actually... They already did that, so it's already multi-core enhancements already disabled. So I'm just gonna skip that whole that whole spiel, and there it is. And here are the specs while Lupe steals the video card, so we can start our work. All right. Ah! Ah! Whoa! Boo! Boo! Ah! Baby. Woo! All right, the customer also wanted to take these three fans and put them on the front right here, uh, since the I.O. is going on the top right here. So what we're going to do is remove this first, which is pretty easy to take out. <laughs> oh, look at this. I'll plant some DNA. So let's get started. Cue to Gooch Collector music. Yeah. Out come the dust filters, which don't look too bad. This has a nice button. So this thing also has like a little door. Uh -huh. We need to cut some zip ties here, right? Cut some zippies, suck some tape. Oh great, so now we have to figure out what fans. Which ones are which? Oh, I hate zip ties. Don't accidentally cut those wires, man. It's the worst that can happen. We're out and I'm still alive somehow. Weird. The gooch never dies. Now we gotta take these fans out. Unmount them from this. Why are you using power tools on computer components? We're not, we're using a little drill. It's a little drill. You should invest in one, because it'll match your little peen. Ha! <laughs> Got <he! laughs> So fans are out, front fans are out. Now we need to remove these top fans. Oh yeah, bud. So these babies are actually pretty easy. So these two are connected to the header in the back. It looks like, is that what he did? Cool, now we gotta fucking lift it up again. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Woo! All right, I don't get paid enough for this. Lupe doesn't get paid at all. <laughs> so we need these to blow in, and this mounts. How did this mount? This mounted like that, and it needs to blow in this way. And the fan tells us which way it blows, because this is a cool fan. So it's gonna blow in this way. That means we need to mount it like this. Gravy. New fans are in. 
Uh, but the problem is that we do not have enough slack, so they're not, they're not big enough. This is a common problem with my viewers. It's just not long enough. So what we have to do is use an extension to make it connect to the hub in the back. So first, I'm just going to put it in. Slide in place. There we go. I got it. For wire management, the best option would probably send it through the front. I mean, through the top. Yeah. So I'm not even. I'm not going to screw it in yet. Oh my god, this fucking thing is so heavy. Gah! So it, it looks like it needs to go through here or here. This one we can fit through there, no problem. Tiny raccoon-like fingers activated. So that goes through there, no problem. So I can actually plug this one in. Dolo. It's not the cleanest, but. We are under severe time constraints because he wants this done by two and it is already one o'clock. He's getting what, what we can do in terms of time. We plug the fans from the, it wouldn't, f the fan cable length wasn't uh, long enough so we used one of our extenders, it was a three to one extender to stretch it. So now we have two fans going into to one over here and then we have one fan, the top one right here, plug into right there. Uh, fan control he can do through here, through armory crate like he's been doing. So now we have to move on to the AIO, and that's going to be uh, fairly straightforward, but those are also pretty time intensive too. Unplug ski? I actually, I have this exact same cooler at my house. That's concerning. Actually, it might be bigger. I think mine is bigger at the house. Why don't you go liquid cooled, you, you idiot? <laughs> <laughs> this thing is tiny, man. That's insane. They were trying to cool a 14900 with this thing. That, that takes some balls. All right, I'm going to take my average size screwdriver. I'm not going to use power tools on this thing. And let's judge the paste job, shall we? Okay, that's not actually not too bad. But you know what? I'm willing to bet he didn't screw these in correctly. Look at the pattern. It looks like the heatsink was only making contact in the middle. These CPUs do bend, but a common mistake Look at that. He didn't tighten these. He didn't tighten these. Look at, look at all the turns I'm getting out of this. He didn't tighten this correctly. You need to not be afraid to tighten these. Like, I'm barely using any force. I am not a strong man, as you just saw. <laughs> so it doesn't take much force to do that. So uh, that's, that's where he messed up. You need to tighten these until they won't tighten anymore. Don't break it, but, and don't use, like, gorilla strength. <laughs> It doesn't matter now because we're going to AIO, but that's what that pattern told me. Now it's time to get rid of this because we're installing the AIO clamp and we're also going to be putting on a pressure plate. I didn't mention that, but we're going to be removing this socket and putting on a pressure plate because these 14th gens, they kind of need a pressure plate. It's just good for cooling. We already did it to his other computer. This is the exact same build as his other computer, so we have two of them. We got his done yesterday. Cuck, bitch. We got his done yesterday and uh, we're doing this one today. We're going to take the CPU or the thermal paste off this bad boy before we do anything. Using. A 99% rubbing alcohol. Beautiful. And four little four little screws. You should probably undo that before you do that. Be like me, folks. And now it's time for the pressure plate. Now, how do you apply a pressure plate, you may ask? Easy. Boom skis. So you're going to take the original heat sink that we just took off and, and got rid of. And this is where you crush your wrist. So I have to hold the machine up using my arm. Uh, which way? LJ17. We want it this way. Yes. We want to be neat. Oh, touch me one more time. Okay. Don't touch. No, I can't feel my hand, so that's when I know things are working. Uh, I promise at some point we'll hit the screw. Oh, and I got it. First try. First try. Ta -da! This totally didn't take three takes. Everything you see on YouTube is real. <laughs> All right, these, you don't have to tighten. These tighten themselves, like, I'm not even going to say anything, f*** it. Okay, now that our pressure plate is in and looking as beautiful as ever, we are going to crack open this bad boy. Oh, it comes with a fancy sticker. Four fans, it looks like. Three fans, it looks like. And I'm guessing this is the hardware. All right, user manuals. This is probably a very different video from what you see and the rest of YouTube when they have the, the neatest, most unused workspace and everything is neat and beautiful and fancy, but this is what it looks like in a real life repair shop, if you can believe it. And if you're saying, wow, that looks miserable. It is. It's fucking miserable. <laughs> Not the computer ready yet? Cue to Gooch Collector music.
I'm the greatest in this place. All right, time to test. Oh my god, I think I mounted these upside down. <laughs> I fucking mounted all those fans upside down. The greatest technician that's ever lived. Don't don't make fun of me. I'm trying to grow, I swear. Now that the fans are in the proper way, not that I would ever install them backwards or anything. Let's see if it works. I want to fucking pass out. <laughs> COVID. Bigly. Oh. I love how Windows just ignored the fact I clicked that in the first place. <laughs> like it just never happened. So already the idle temps are insanely lower. That's that's even better than uh, the Arctic, actually. But no job is officially finished until you peel. Oh yeah. Alright man, thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks. Yeah, Thanks. of course. Um, Where's my graphics card?